Now the contaminated disc has been placed into the, the treatment container. An aliquot of test material or test product is applied directly over the inoculum spot and a timer is set. The product is exposed to the clostridium spores for a time that is determined by the label claim. The critical portion of this procedure is to make sure that the test product completely covers the dried inoculum and that it is not um, edging off the edge of the carrier. At the end of the timed exposure, an aliquot of a validated neutralizing solution is added to the container, taking care not to splash any spores from the container. The container is sealed and agitated for no less than one minute and sonicated as necessary to remove the dried spores. The product is completely neutralized at this time. At this point, the sample is plated. This is done with a 0.45 micron filter. A magnet is used to hold the magnetized stainless steel disc in the bottom of the specimen cup. The fluid is dumped into the filter. This container is rinsed several times with a saline solution and the rinsate is added to the filter. The contents are then filtered and the filter is rinsed with additional fluid and this filter is plated onto auger media that will sustain the growth of clostridium. The filters are incubated for seven days at the temperature appropriate for clostridium, which is 35 degrees. A preliminary evaluation of the filters is made after approximately 48 hours of incubation because of the organism's tendency to spread across the filter. As a control, concurrent with the testing of the test product, the same procedure is followed using contaminated discs, but using a placebo in place of the test product, and that placebo can be a saline solution. For efficacy claims versus clostridium difficile spores, 10 carriers are required to be tested versus a single batch of test product, and three different batches of test product should be tested. No less than three carriers are treated with the placebo. The placebo should produce carrier recoveries of no less than six logs. A test product to demonstrate efficacy versus clostridium spores should demonstrate a six log reduction versus those spores.